What's up, guys? We're here. Welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be taking a look at the Warrior class uh, here in Path of Exile 2. Um, you know, typically I'm not too much of a melee guy, at least from PoE 1, because melee up until the last couple leagues was kind of tough to play. Um, the range builds were just better. or The spell casting builds were just better, uh, in, at least in what I've played. Um, but we are going to take a look at the brand new warrior class, which is going to be your big brute force um, tank. So let's take a look, man. We got a couple videos here from uh, the devs and just some more information talking about this. So let's go ahead and break it down. I'm so excited about this. Uh, so see, we already know that like WASD apparently is just better. It's just better for the warrior. And now at the moment he's using a two hand weapon. So um, he's I still don't know how I feel about like using WASD as a, you know, as opposed to keyboard and mouse. I guess it's just going to depend on how it feels or controller. I guess the controller config for this two guys is like really good for POE too. So if I am going to use like the warrior class and use WASD. I wonder if just using a controller would just be better. He's going to uh, be uh, hitting very slow, um, but uh, v v v very hard. So it looks like he attacks really also slow. Something else you can do as well in PoE 2, which we didn't have in PoE 1, um, which is that um, if you switch to a shield and a one hand um, item, um, then uh, you've also got active block. So, um, and uh, this is something that's actually. Oh, so I see. You move really slow. Unless they've got some special ability, but it can be quite nice against bosses. So let's have a quick look at that. So you move really slow when you're actively blocking. So this is a big boss here. And the thing with bosses, they have large telegraphed attacks. So um, if you use active block here, you can use that. To oh, the look at that. Front, uh, which is quite nice. Ooh. Now, there are attacks that um, uh, have a little red flash that you can't block. Um, but for the most part, you can. Oh, I see. So that red flash. Okay. Okay. I mean, I'm assuming once we get to like the end game through the campaign, the warrior will be able to attack a little bit faster. I love the smashing though. Like that stuff looks really good. And again with these boss fights, man. I don't know. Maybe the warrior would be really good. I guess DM was like doing some crazy damage when he got to test the warrior out in LA. I mean, his health bar just isn't depleting at all. So you're just super tanky. Oh, the, the boss was staggered there for a second. Oh, shield charge into a bash. The blocking is really unique. But it's only where you're facing your shield, though. Dang. He took no damage. Like zero. Now, one of the key areas that we haven't huh. talked about yet in Path of Exile in terms of character customization. Oh, see that? Uncut skill gems is how they drop. Nice. Of course, the passive tree. So Path of Exile is really well known. For oh, man. We got to take out having a giant the passive, passive tree. tree is going to be There's insane, guys. nodes in the passive tree. And all 1500 nodes all the classes use the same tree however they start in different locations so the warrior for example starts on the bottom left side here and because okay. of the fact he starts there he gets access to a lot more of the um, melee focused uh, elements on the tree yeah, yeah yeah now to quickly explain how the passive tree works um there are he actually has a lot of points in the tree here types of nodes here um, the smallest nodes okay. um, are just like minor nodes mechanic as well that i want to quickly talk about so if you go back skills we okay. also have the ability to pick for a given skill which uh, oh man i like that you can actually see the straight up dps on here as opposed to like going back and having to like oh i equip the skill go back to my thing you know my my character sheet and look at the damage or even highlight over the skill like that's i mean highlighting over the skill is nice but i guess the the, the correct dps was on your character sheet so now this is similar here i wonder if they'll have that overlay that you want to use it with so for example the stampede skill here um, if you've got a shield, um, then oh my god, look at that! You can uh, like the weapon set flopping. You can check it. Oh it my will, god! Um, call it be blocking the entire time if you just demonstrate that quickly. Um, so if you use a um, stampede, uh, because you hold your shield in front of you, you're blocking the entire time. You're charging. Oh, and, uh, okay. Your 
okay. It will also be a lot faster because it's got higher attack speed. So that's something we'd much rather use with our one hand weapon. But when, for oh, example, we're doing our earthquake or our um, double slam, this is something that we probably only want to use with our two hand weapon because we want to do the most, most damage. So that means we can turn it off with the other weapon set. And now when you use your. Uh, I love that you can swap through weapon that, sets, man. Your two hand weapon automatically. So effectively, this. It looks really good. Okay, so if we come over here, you can see some more stuff with the warrior. He pounds the ground with big chunky attacks and can shrug off the hits of small I mean, large amounts of armor. Even though the mace slams are slow, you never lose control. I mean, it looks slow at first, but like it doesn't seem too bad, you know what I mean? Committed to a long attack, you can dodge roll out of it at any time. Oh, so you can interrupt you can interrupt the animation of your melee attack and dodge roll out among the skill options okay as you will find a variety of slams fire attacks war cries and shield skills see rob's got to be all over this yeah, man slam the ground rending it apart with lines of fire Any slam oh it's like a direct line to erupt with lava i can even run through them with a skill like stampede to do huge amounts of damage that is so cool the warrior can also use war cries which can empower your next skill Seismic Cry, for example, will double any slams from the next attack. Ooh. Stampede counts as a slam, so I can double that for even more craziness. Ah, okay. So, so it, it, it kind of seems like some of the war cries are used as like a buffer to use certain skills right away. And then once you've done it, then the war cry goes away as opposed to like in Diablo or something, you just have the war cry active for a continuous amount of time. And be a little more I don't know. I could be wrong. In Peewee 2, you can raise your shield at any time to block all damage from the front, even spells. Even spells? Shield, your stun meter will build as you take damage. So be oh, okay. You got a stun meter down here. Your stance will break and you will be vulnerable. Oh, I see. Some enemies also Interesting. have unblockable attacks, which are indicated by this red flash. If you see one of these coming, make sure to dodge out of the yeah, way. Yes, and see how well Telegraph stuff are? Like, I don't think the combat system is going to be too hard, at least through the campaign. But... In the rest, also gives you access to shield skills like shield charge, which allows you to charge. Oh, that's cool. Oh, while charging, you're also blocking the whole time, so you have full damage immunity from the front. Oh, see, man, that's gonna make the warrior really fun to play. Now, this is something I wasn't a big fan of in PoE 1. I'm not a big totem guy, I just don't like it. I'd rather use stuff like a war cry or something, but. Some totems have built-in abilities, like Shockwave Totem, which can be placed to stun nearby enemies. And That's actually kind of cool. Trigger aftershocks like those from the but I guess it's the same, right? Like, you press one button, you drop the, the totem, as opposed to pressing one button, you pop the war cry. It's the same. I don't know what it is about totems. I'm just not a big fan. Like, it just, to me, it just doesn't breathe like warrior. It just breeds like shaman type, you know? But I don't know. Weird. You can also get ancestral warrior totems, which allow you to use any slam skill in your repertoire. Ooh. This is a meta skill, which means I like this new skill, this skill system, man. Into. I can like the skill gem like system. And socket it into my ancestral warrior totem. Now when I summon him, he'll sit there and slam Oh! The there are 20 active skills for maces, so there's a lot more to try out. But by end game, you're going to be dropping hammers from the sky, leaping fearlessly into combat. Okay, so the warrior is mainly just using maces. I guess you can use other weapons, but the best ones are maces. Okay, so Warrior looks pretty nuts, guys. I mean, um, have multiple weapon sets and do a lot of different things. It's also Warrior looks pretty insane. Like it, it seems really, really slow. Uh, maybe the mate, like, because obviously the melee in this game is going to be a lot better than the melee in Poe One, but or maybe not, not now because the stuff got changed. But um, it, it just looked, uh, at least on the surface, it looks a whole lot better from the start. You know, so this could be really, really cool. Um, I don't know. It attacks really, really so. I like to attack really, really fast. So, like, if I'm going to play melee, Monk might be for me. But I do like the idea of, you know, being a tank and just absolutely crushing and just, like, being able to just, like, take hits and just not die. Because, <laughs> like, in the in this fight, like, the warrior was just, like, taking so many hits against his boss. Like, he's just taking hits and not, like, his health bar just does not deplete. I mean, I don't know how much, like, in between his attacks he's actually blocking, per se, but the warrior looks really, really fun, man. I mean, imagine stacking up so much, like, smash damage, and you're just, like, destroying everything. It's kind of like a melee slash AoE with all this stuff, man. It seems really, really cool. 
it, I mean, I guess the slow the slow attack speed really balances out because you do so much damage with the warrior. It's kind of crazy. But yeah, guys, that's the warrior, man. The warrior breakdown, first first reactions and stuff. It just seems really, really cool. Really fun. I don't know if I'm I'd probably I think I'd rather play monk because of the movement speed and attack speed of the monk over warrior. But the warrior does look really fun if you just want to be a tank. And I mean, and when party play, because there's a lot of information about party play that seems really, really good and enjoyable. So having a probably a tank or a warrior in your party is probably going to be really, really good. But yeah, guys, like the video, comment down below. Let me know if you guys are going to be playing Warrior this uh, POE on early access. Let me know down in the comments, okay? Like, comment, do all that good stuff for the algorithm, please. And don't forget to subscribe, guys, as always. Stay gaming. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.